All right, guys, to begin this project, you're going to be needing the P5 Penelope screwdriver. There's a total of 10 screws that you're going to have to remove from the back cover. There's two different sizes, so please take note of where they're coming out of so you know exactly where to put them back when you go back to reassemble your laptop. Gently remove the back cover, and this will give us access to the battery connector, which we'll be having to disconnect to proceed. With the back cover off, this little plastic shield right here is covering the battery connector. It's held down by a little bit of adhesive, so just gently remove that and we'll have access to the little connector that we're going to have to disconnect from the logic board. Using a plastic pry tool, gently disconnect the battery connector from the logic board. Around the edges of the battery connector, there is a little lip for you to be able to disconnect, so just gently pry it up and you'll be able to disconnect the battery connector from the logic board. With the battery now disconnected from the logic board, it is now safe to remove that single T5 Torx screw that's holding down the SSD. Using the T5 screwdriver, go ahead and remove that single screw holding it down and put it to the side to make sure you guys don't lose it. Gently pull back the SSD from the logic board and it will come out of its socket. As you can see, it's only going to go in one way. Make sure your teeth are facing the same direction when you go back to reinsert the new SSD with the adapter attached. Okay, so when you guys are ready to attach the needed adapter for the 970 EVO, make sure that the teeth are going to be matching up correctly with the SSD. There's only one way that it should be going in there. Don't force it. You don't want to break the SSD. The adapter is pretty cheap, but the SSD is pretty expensive. You guys don't want to damage that. So make sure that you line up the teeth correctly and go ahead and snap it in place. In comparison to one another, you can actually see how bigger the original Apple SSD is compared to the 970 Evo. When you get ready to install it, make sure that the teeth are lining exactly the same way as the original Apple. You go ahead and flip it. The teeth should line up exactly like the original. That is why you do need the adapter for this 970 Evo SSD. So once you make sure that everything is actually lining up correctly, it's safe to go ahead and put the new SSD into the socket. So you're going to want to do this gently. Go ahead and line it up into the socket. Once it's lined up, you can actually use your thumb to push it in there. It's a little bit hard to put it in there, but you, you will be hearing a little snap when it's completely installed. Once you install it, go ahead and grab that T5 Torx screw and go ahead and secure it like it was when you removed it. Making sure it's lined up before you put that screw down. and go ahead and screw it down. You don't want to over tighten it just enough to hold it down. You could go ahead and put your old SSD in the box for the that the 970 Evo came in. And from here, we're ready to connect the battery and proceed. Once the SSD is properly installed and secured with the T5 Torx screw, you can go ahead and snap the battery connector right back into the logic board. You should hear a little snap. Push firmly on both edges to make sure it is flush with the logic board. Then reapply the shield that was covering the battery connector. Should be enough adhesive on there that it will stick into place and it won't be moving around on you. So once you do that, just make sure everything's even and you can go ahead and put your back cover back on there. If you kept your screws in order, you shouldn't have any issues putting these screws back in here. Just make sure your back cover is aligned so you don't cover the holes and re-screw your back screws to the cover with using the p5 penelope screwdriver all right and for the initial install i did use my catalina usb catalina 10.15.4 usb go ahead and put that in my usb port hold down my option key and then push my power button on my macbook pro while holding down the option key. This will bring up the bootable um, USB. If anybody out there needs a previous uh, Mac OS installer, I do have all the previous versions. So if you need one, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram, um, follow me and then message me and then let me know what you guys are looking for. And I'll be more than happy to provide that for you. Some people don't like Catalina, some people don't like Big Sur. So whatever it is, I do have all the previous installers for you guys. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and format the hard drive. Go ahead and click on Erase. You can name it whatever you want. For me, I'll just do HD. 
And the most important part is make sure you do APFS as the format and then click erase. This will format the hard drive, meaning it'll erase everything on the hard drive and get it ready for the Mac OS install. Once that's done, go ahead and click on done. Go ahead and exit out this little box right here and continue with the install by clicking install Mac OS. Just go ahead and follow the prompts, click agree. Choose the hard drive you want to install to, which is going to be this HD one, and then proceed with the install. Once you have made it to the welcome screen, you want to click on the specific region that you're in. Select your Wi-Fi network, type in your passcode, and finish the prompts to finish the install of your Mac OS operating system. And that's it guys, you have successfully upgraded your SSD to the 970 EVO Plus on your MacBook Pro. Thanks for watching.